All right, here I am again, back for day two. Well, maybe it's more like day nine because this is a, it's probably the ninth day I've dug at this dump. I don't know how many days has it been. But I'm going to tunnel this hole about two and a half feet in all different directions and hopefully find about 20 bottles. Okay, I just found the first bottle of the day. Still has the cap on it. It's almost intact. It has a big base chip, but it actually makes me wonder, is that still full of coke? No, it couldn't be, but how does it have the cap on it and it has liquid in it unless that's Coca-Cola in there? Okay, only 30 seconds later, I already just found a whole another intact bottle that's crazy okay just found a straight side of coke of course the top sheared off but it's got a nice semi teal color to it and it's from Weldon I was hoping it would be a Kelford because to find a Kelford in this kind of condition would be a thousand dollar bottle but I can't complain because I don't have one of these at least not one in this kind of condition. Still very displayable. Alright, I found the first one of these for the day. The beautiful mid-scripted Weldon Pepsi. And yes, the top is sheared off, but... Still worth something. I think some the guy that was digging here before me said he was getting $75 a piece for these even in this condition. Okay, found another one of these Pepsis. The top's broken off, but of course I can still make a glass out of it. And I found another one right beside it. Top sheared off and the bottom sheared off. But I think if I'd saw it off on about a half an inch in either direction from the embossing, I could make something out of it. Well, I was tunneling and I hooked onto this and cracked the crown off of it. That's not good at all because this is a, would have been a mint condition Pepsi. And of course it's from Weldon. I haven't found a single perfect one from Weldon yet in this variation. But, I just broke one. Still, it's definitely worth bringing home. Can't believe what I just found. A mint cola from Macclesfield. People are always bragging about having these. I've never found one before, but now I have. And it looks to be free of any damage. Okay, I'm sure you're tired of me showing you the bottles, but not actually coming out of the ground. So here's your shot at seeing one coming out. So I'm going to film this one coming out because it looks like a whole one and it looks like a good one. It looks like a straight set of Coke. Not a straight sided, it's just a hobble skirt. Well, there's a beautiful Tarboro straight sided. Of course, the top's broken off like every one you ever see of these. Still, I think it's worth bringing home. Okay, now for some fun. We got one right there, one right there, another one right there, one right there. All kinds of stuff sticking out here super loaded layer okay there's one of them the top's broken off but surprisingly this is the only 1915 from Emporia that I've seen so even in that condition I'm gonna bring it home okay I just found a couple interesting 1915s went all the way from Dothan Alabama of course it's cracked but 
I'm going to keep it anyway. And then we got the first one to show up from Kinston, North Carolina. It's pretty unusual to have it ridden straight across like that. So that's a pretty scarce variation. So even though the top's gone, I'm going to bring that one back with me. Okay, I'm back again. Digging the same hole as the last two days. Gonna tunnel it out and bring it over this way. Okay, the first bottle of the day, I just pulled it right out from under here somewhere. And it's another beautiful Pepsi. I don't see any cracks, but as always, the top is chipped off. Okay, we got a loaded layer up here. I just pulled on some roots and all this junk came rolling out. And one of them is a nearly perfect Pepsi. It just has a lip chip. Hopefully there's no cracks in it. Just pulled out an intact 1915. No lip chips. And it's from Chadborn. Okay, this is definitely the thickest layer I've seen in this dump. It's about three feet. Could this possibly be a whole one? Oh my god, it actually is. It's got a big chip on the bottom though. Okay, just found a broken mint cola. But I'm keeping it anyway because it's the first one I've ever seen from North Emporia. Yeah, I just thought they had a coke plant over there, but apparently they had mint cola also. Now it's time for the fun part. Look at all these bottles just lined up in there. Okay, of course most of them are going to be broken. But look at that one. Is that a perfect bottle or what? It's intact anyway. It's obviously a Pepsi. Let's go wash it up and have a look. Yeah, to Pepsi from Suffolk. And I don't see any cracks in it. No lip chips either. So that's a nice one. Okay, what else have we got? The broken one is actually not too bad because it's the center scripted Pepsi, so it's definitely worth cutting into a glass. What a beautiful sight. A layer three feet thick of exclusively soda bottles from 1912 to 1922. That's not something you get to dig every day. This feels like a whole one right there. And it is. It's got a big crack in it, of course. Oh, what is it? It's embossed in the middle. Okay, I think I know what this is. It's a uh, brown bottling works of Scotland Neck, North Carolina. Okay, what else have we got? A medicine bottle. Definitely has the wampole shape to it, but no embossing. So, what else have we got here? It's a hobble skirt. And we just broke, just pulled that one out and. It is a uh, heel scripted Pepsi from Rocky Mount. Okay, it looks like we got a couple more possible intact ones. Close, it's a uh, Quaco, whatever those are. And what's this one? Oh man, it's a Pepsi and it's the mid scripted from Weldon. It's got a big chip out of the top, but it's definitely a good one nevertheless. Okay, here's something I learned the hard way. If you're going to plan on repairing bottles, you've got to be saving the tops of them. Uh, a lot of people just think about carrying back the main part of the bottle. But if you don't have an assortment of different kinds of tops and different shades of aquas and clears, then you've got nothing to repair it with. Well, I almost found one of my dream bottles. Finally found one, but the top's broken off. But it's definitely worth bringing back home. 
Okay, I see a neck sticking out there. That's a good sign. I think it's going to be intact. Come on. Oh man, it's just a hobble skirt. And we got a Pepsi with the neck broken off. See a medicine right there. These must be really tough. They never break. Getting ready to cave in on me. Okay, found sort of an intact. Just got a lip chip and a base chip, but it's from Rocky Mount. Those are actually pretty rare. I sold one on eBay for over $100. Okay, I found my first milk bottle here. It is slug plated, but no embossing. And that Kelford bottle. It's not cracked at all. So in a way, that's the best one of these I've found in here. It's definitely worth having repaired. Okay, digging further into the wall of glass. I see an interesting specimen. It's definitely the mid-embossed Weldon Pepsi. Is it going to be a whole one? No, not quite. But it's not cracked, so you know what that means. Bring it home and make a glass out of it. Okay, just pulled out another one of those mid-script Pepsis with the top broken off. Then I found something different. A big 12 ounce crystal cola from Richmond, Virginia. It's got a lot of beautiful embossing on it. It's a shame it had to be broken. Okay, I found another odd one. Raleigh Bottling Works of Mabscott, West Virginia. And it looks to be in perfect condition. And we got this Pepsi bottle. Looks to be perfect as well. Looks like we had another thousand dollar day today.